What's going on guys? Simply Pops here, back at it again with another iOS 11 video. You guys seem to love that last video that I put up the other day. Um, I guess you could say that was my first impressions of iOS 11, features that I could find first. But in this video, after doing a lot of research and watching WWDC and watching my favorite YouTubers, Everything Apple Pro, iDevice Help, I want to kind of remake this video in a sense. I want to make it a little bit better. And there was a couple of features that I actually missed. And there was some features that I didn't really give you guys a complete, um, you know, description of. Um, so first things first, you can actually have um, a customizable control center. So low power mode right there. You have your screen recording, alarms, Apple TV. You have so many toggles here and you can actually change the toggles man so yeah thank you apple for allowing us to have customizable toggles to ios um it's about time we wanted this ever since ios 7 and it's finally here man i can't believe it so once you go into settings control center you can actually uh select what toggles that you want you can actually remove toggles too so you can get rid of everything um so yeah i don't have nothing on the bottom so if you want that little cleaner look in a sense you can do that too. So I like how Apple can give us the option to add and remove toggles. Um, and I was just reading something in the description. Like you have the alarms, Apple TV remote, calculator, flashlight, do not disturb while driving. Which is a very, very handy feature. How could I forget about that? Um, so basically it's like a do not disturb when you're driving. Um, you guided access, low power mode. You have even like a note. So it'll probably take you to the note application. I should try that out. So I'm just curious to see. That's kind of like a handy feature. So maybe if you're in the lock screen, maybe you can uh, go into the notes app. Damn, that is so cool. That is so cool. Oh my God. So like maybe you have to take like a quick note or something. You can boom, boom, and that's it. So that's definitely a nice change. And I also forgot to show you guys the passcode setting. So it's completely redesigned. Looks a lot more nicer in my opinion. Now another thing too I want to show you guys is the screen recording. Now the screen recording right now is recording this screen right now. So let's say you want to show somebody something. So I don't know like someone might actually yo how do I enable low power mode. So I, I showed them like go to settings, um, go to battery and then low power mode I could turn it off and then you can tap on this and you could just tap on stop recording. So that is just so handy. Jailbroken devices had this for years. I should say years since iOS 6, iOS 5. We can go way back and Apple finally have it into iOS. And yeah, I'm going to use that feature a lot. And now here's the playback. So now look, you can send them that. Uh, I'm pretty sure you have like a share button somewhere. Well, I don't have no service. So uh, maybe if you're watching like a YouTube video, let me see something. And that leads me to the next thing. So Apple completely redesigned the video music player. I like this a lot um, and you no longer have the, if I play this right now, you no longer have the volume HUD interrupting your video. So you, can, so you guys can see right there, you can slide it, you can do whatever you like. And I like how Apple did that, but my question is, can you turn on the screen recording while you're watching a video? Because I see a lot of people probably going to do something like this. Okay, so I guess it's paused the video. It's not going to play. So, all right. So that's cool. You know, you guys probably want to know these things, man. You guys probably want to know these things. I just wanted to see if that would work or not. But, guess not. Hold up. I'm on the wrong setting. See, so, yeah, so right now, reduce white point is really low. And if I turn this down even further, look. Look how dark it is. So maybe when you wake it up in the morning, sometimes your eyes hurt. And then you turn on your phone like, bah! blast it just hit you right in your face so yeah this is gonna help you a lot they should have like a quick little toggle for that but it is what it is um and i like that a lot and that leads me to the next thing dark mode cannot wait for apple to really smoothen out the edges for this one so if you go into the same options display um you have smart invert so if you turn that on that's this is basically dark mode um you have your classic one and it basically is going to invert the colors but if you have the smart invert on you guys can see like everything just looks nice. You have your nice black, um, black, um, you know, UI. You have your white text. Everything just matches well, and it doesn't invert the icons on the side there. So, dark mode is indeed coming to iOS. I gotta say, this is probably like the most anticipated um, thing to iOS. You guys can see the Google icon is inverted right there, but 
you know, Apple is working, working on it. This is cool. You guys can see the bottom is kind of inverted. They even come with like a black keyboard. So, you know, Apple is coming up with a solution for this. And I, you know, I'm proud of Apple, man. They finally listened to the, um, the consumers. They gave us a screen recorder. They gave us dark mode, like quick little note. The app store looks cool and all, but I just don't like how everything is so big, man. Like why everything has to be like, look, this one app take up the whole entire screen, not the whole entire screen, but this top portion of it. If I want to see what's the next one, oops, I would have to swipe to the next page. Like, I don't know. I, I don't like that change, but maybe it's just easier to read and that's it. But they took this style directly from the music application on iOS 10, which I'm not a huge fan of at all. But this dark mode is not bad. Let's go into Safari. You guys can see the buttons on the bottom. Orange instead of the yellow. Now, it does invert the colors right here, but... This is what it is. You know what I mean? Apple is still working on it. And you guys can tell that it's on the way. Now, another thing too with this app switcher, you can actually go into the home screen by just tapping anywhere. So you can tap anywhere on the screen and it'll take you to the home page. Now, if you tap on one of the apps, it's obviously going to go back into that app. And this is on the iPhone 6. The iPhone 6 is going really smooth, I, I must say that. But there's just so many features that I missed. Now, you are going to run into some bugs. And I did mention, like, that no bugs so far. I bumped into this bug. Um, it is what it is. Now, um, you guys can see I have a notification here. Basically, this is notification center. It kind of looks exactly like the lock screen. And it kind of is, if you really think about it. Um, so, if you swipe up, you're going to reveal your older notifications. So if you go into lock screen and you swipe down into your um, notification, that's no longer the case no more. You got to swipe up now to reveal your notifications. You have to swipe up and then they, there's your notifications right there. Now this is the lock screen. See, now it's going to be hard to tell. It would have been nice if Apple included new ringtones to iOS 11. That would have been nice, but it is what it is. We still early into the beta. They can easily switch up some things and change up. But yeah, this is what we're getting so far. And this dark mode looks impressive on the black iPhone. Yes. It's just so seamless just having a black iPhone with dark mode. It's just so, it's amazing. And if you guys do want to learn how to install it, I actually did show you guys on the last video. So make sure you guys check that out. And man, hopefully Apple can add it like a dark mode toggle. I, I, I think that's going to come though. I think that's, that's on the way though. But really and truly, this is not officially dark mode. That's what people got to understand. This is just like a workaround right now. Now, I'm not really too sure if this was on iOS 10 or not. They redesigned the storage page. So you have your, very, very similar to Mac OS. We have like, you know, it, it calculate what's taking up space. Oh, and you have a recommendation. So very, very similar to Mac OS. You have your offloaded unused apps. So automatically offload unused apps. If you go into the settings in general, you can actually re reset or shut down your device. All right, so I guess reset, you guys know these options, but you can shut down your device and you can just slide and that's it. Apple didn't redesign the, the iTunes store, but they redesigned the app store. Like what? I mean, I, I like this design better than the app store, but you, you would think they will make both the designs the same or similar but nope that's not the case but overall it's just so many hidden features that I'm just not gonna be able to cover them all but for the most part Apple really did their thing in iOS 11 and I'm very very proud of them for adding like they really went all out in the control center like the screen recording the notes you could just jot down a note real quick but overall guys that's pretty much all what I can find in iOS 11 I did cover a lot of features on my last video but these are some of the features that I missed but um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I cannot wait for iOS 11 to be ironed out and ready to go. But we have a long way to go. But it is what it is. Stay tuned for more videos. All right, yeah. One more feature I forgot to add in. I just grabbed my iPad quickly. You can screenshot. And it'll be like a little window. You tap on that. You can mark it up. You can crop it. You can do all kinds of stuff. And then when you're done, you can just... Tap on save the photos and it'll save. Or you can take a screenshot again. Oops. You can, you know, go to your messages. You can do whatever you do. And it'll still be there. Well, not for long.